Hi, this is Darren with Kegerator.com, and today we're going to show you how to clean your Kegerator. Now the reason you should clean after every use is to take the, the beer residue from the beer lines and the beer faucet and make sure it doesn't taint your other beers. So what we're going to do today is clean the faucet area to the line that runs all the way down into your Kegerator, right here. Okay, so here are all the accessories you'll need to clean your kegerator. First of all, you'll have the instruction booklet with you so you know what to do. Then we'll have the powder beer line cleaning compound, which will help you clean the beer line more successfully and it'll get rid of all the residue. The bottle here is where we're going to mix our solution and then pour it into the kegerator. The cleaning hose here goes with the bottle and you'll just screw it on like that and then you'll pump it into the kegerator. The faucet brush will help you clean all those hard to reach spots on the faucet. The faucet wrench is going to help you take the faucet off of the beer line in the beer tower so you can easily clean your keg. The black rubber gasket will connect to the hose so it won't leak out. The ball pin helps to relieve the pressure on the coupler so you can clean the line a lot easier. And now I'm going to teach you to take off the faucet so you can easily clean your keg right here. So what you want to remember here is that the, the general rule for lefty loosey righty tidy is the exact opposite on keg raters. So it's going to be lefty tidy, righty loosey. So what we're going to do is take the faucet wrench, put it in the holes, and take it off just like this. Once it gets loose enough, you can just take it off with your hands. Next, you'll want to go down to the coupler inside the kegerator and make sure you have the ball pin and you're going to put it into where the, keg where the kegerator is tapped by the coupler. And you want to make sure you pinch it so it goes in, apply the pressure, and it should go in like that. Then you want to make sure you take out the gas line because you don't want any water to get into it and just keep it up here. And you'll need a tablespoon for every gallon of the PLC to make sure that you get the right amount of solution. So I'm just going to put a little bit in here and then you need to mix it with pretty hot water. I'd say almost scalding hot to make sure that the solution goes through. Make sure it's super hot and then fill up the bottle like so and fill it to the top line on here, and you'll see the lines on the side. So right about here, and then you'll want to put the hose on, and now you're ready to clean your keg. One thing when you clean out your kegerator is you'll need to have a bucket in. So you can put your keg coupler into there to make sure it leaks out correctly. You don't want it to go all over the floor and make a mess. So you'll want to take the bottle with the solution, take the hose, and put it onto the faucet head where you took off the faucet that'll connect to the beer tower and this will run directly to the line all the way to the keg coupler. So when you're ready all you gotta do is tilt it over and let it go and to go to make it go faster you can also just squeeze it and make sure it comes out. And so what you're gonna see on the keg coupler is you're gonna see the water and probably some of the beer come out and it's just gonna empty into the bucket and this will ensure that your line is becoming clean as it's, as it's emptying. And for a deeper clean, you can flush the line twice this way, or you can take the ball pin out from the coupler and just let it sit in there for like an hour or so, and it should clean it. Now what you want to do after flushing the line, the recommended two times, is to fill the bottle with just hot water, no solution. And then you're going to flush it just like you did before. And now the hot water is going to take away all the residue of the solution, and your line will be clean after that. We also recommend doing this about two times as well. So for cleaning the faucet, you want to make sure you have the faucet, a bowl to set all the parts in, and your faucet brush. And make sure you also have the solution so you're ready to clean that. So what you're going to do, is you're going to take the faucet apart, and we'll take the, the faucet handle out, screw out this part here, then screw that out and make sure these two washers come out like so, because you want to clean them as thoroughly as possible. And then, for the faucet, you want to make sure that you push this part out so it comes out like so. And so, you want to put about a teaspoon to a tablespoon of the solution inside here. And then go back to the scalding hot water. Make sure it's a good temp. And you want to fill the bowl with the water, like that. And then you'll want to make sure that the solution is all dissolved into the water. So I'm going to stir it a little bit, make 
make sure it's ready to go. And then you're going to set the faucet in along with its parts. And don't forget the washers because those are important too. You want to make sure that they're all sitting there and you probably want to keep it there for about 30 minutes to an hour just so you make sure it soaks and gets all the beer residue out from the faucet. So about 30, 30 minutes to an hour later, you're going to take the faucet handle itself and you're going to take the brush and just clean it through like that. You want to make sure you get all the parts out, so do it thoroughly. And then you want to do it down here as well to make sure you clean the whole faucet through like that. And just one more go around to make sure. And then you want to empty the water from the parts. Make sure you do not flush any of the parts down the sink. So what you want to do is make sure that this hole is lined up to go right here. So you'll push it all the way through, like so, and you'll see the hole right in there. And then you'll take the handle and stick that piece into the hole that you put just in there. Make sure that the white washer goes face down, like so, followed by the black washer. And then you will screw the handle on to the faucet itself. Make sure do not tighten it all the way because you want the handle to be a little loose when you pour the beer. And then screw the second part on. And make sure also this is a little bit loose. Not, not too loose, but not too tight either. And then the tap handle. And you have your faucet. So when you're ready to put all the accessories back on, you want to make sure that the bottle and the hose are removed from the beer tower. And then also make sure that the ball pin is out of there. And then you are ready to assemble it back together. So when you put the faucet back on, make sure that lefty is tidy. Remember that. And then what you want to do is take the faucet wrench, just to make sure you tighten it on correctly. And you can do it one of two ways. You can either put the faucet like this, so you can get a, a more even pour, and so you don't have to put the beer cup right under there or you could put it the traditional way, just straight up like that. And like I said, you want to make sure it's tightened so the beer doesn't come out, and you'll have it just like that. So after you clean your kegerator, you are now ready to enjoy a new keg of fresh draft beer.